guys, they have 50% off on Galactic and I just bought some for a couple. So guys, this is the one that Gresson forgot to get when I asked her to go get it from Nigel's. So I think I'm gonna go get it since it's 50% off. And then there's more. I'm gonna go look around. Crystal has been raving about these, so I might get one of these. I'm not sure which one. Probably this one. Guys, it might be a little too dark. I think this one is new, guys. guys I think these are like concealers and these are like blot and blur I'm kind of interested in this one and then down here this is the one that's intriguing me since I'm into like lip and um, cheek right now kind of reminds me of that it's called pillow perfect um, gel cushion blush and I'm trying this one out, which is this shade right here. It's um, $12. This one is this one, the shade right here is actually pretty neat, but they're all out. That one is also pretty interesting, but as you can tell, they're all out. This one is also pretty interesting, but I think they're all out. It is out. Guys, I think I got the wrong sponge yesterday because I got this one. I think Gressel was talking about this one. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna get it just in case and try both. My favorite section, guys. Candy section. So I think I'm gonna try this because I haven't tried this one yet. And I'm not exactly sure. Guys, I originally came here so I can get some candies for work tomorrow because they asked me to bring some candies for our um, for our little festivity at work tomorrow. But I ended up checking out a bunch of new stuff that I haven't seen at Rite Aid since I haven't been here for a while. So, so guys, these are my selections. And I was thinking of just getting this because at least it has different types of Snickers and Snickers are good. I was thinking of getting one of these, but I just realized that I just got um, a dry shampoo from Ulta the other day or last week. So I think I'm gonna skip on it. Oh my God, guys. I just spent like $84 with a bag of items. I feel like it's not enough, but when you look at the receipt, I'm like, it makes sense, but at the same time, it does not make sense. Um, yeah, it's so different compared to like buying stuff in the Philippines and buying stuff here. I know, I know, I know it's a lot cheaper over there. Yes, yes. But it's just like when you're buying stuff and you're trying to haul a bunch of things. I'm looking at like other people's hauls, like Watson's haul and stuff like that. They buy a lot of things and like bags and bags and bags of stuff from Watson's. And it's nowhere compared to like what I just got right now. But anyways i'm gonna do a haul when i get home so you guys can see what i bought all right i'll see you guys later bye hi guys so i'm back at home and i just wanted to haul what i got from rite aid and i did see that i have a bunch of well a few packages over here that i ordered online so might as well um open the packages with you guys and so i was telling you guys earlier that I don't know how I spent $84 on this one bag of stuff from Rite Aid and you guys are gonna know you guys are gonna find out okay guys so like I was saying sorry I got interrupted um, Ricky's just coming home from work and he usually calls me right after work but anyways I'm gonna tell you guys how I spent this much at Rite Aid um, first of all the reason why I went there was because I wanted to get a bag of like chocolates um, for work and this was $10 I think it was. 
how much was this? Huh. This was $10. Originally, it's uh, $13, but it's on sale for $10. I also got three of these, um, what are these called? Beef jerkies. I got I got three of these beef jerkies and they're about a dollar each. Yep, a dollar each. And I are I already opened this, but I got a candy. This was the an hour later, and it's the extreme sour one. And I opened it already. I had two pieces earlier. It was pretty good. And this was a dollar nineteen. And I think most of the items that were pretty expensive were the makeup. Um, I got this e.l.f. sponge, total face sponge um, from e.l.f. like I said. Uh, I think this is the one that Gressel was recommending. I'm not exactly sure because I bought two different ones. This is one of the ones that I got and then there's another one that you guys are going to see in a different haul. But I got this one and this was $5. Yep. And I also got the Kiss Adhesive Lash. And this was for, I think this was $4. It was $3.99. And I did hear a lot of good things about this, like I was saying earlier, um, from different YouTubers. And I really wanted to try because I always use the Ardell. That's why I wanted to try this one because I feel like the Ardell is really not working pretty well on me anymore I'm not sure if they changed the formula but it doesn't really stay that long and I don't like how it shows a lot of like the glue on my lash I, I just don't like it anymore so I want to I wanted to try something different sorry now I'm rambling again and and I was telling you guys that the girl lactic was uh, on sale it was on sale sale earlier so I got two blushes from there um, when I asked Gressel to get some of my Gerlactic stuff uh, from Nigel's because she did go there, you'll probably see that on a different haul as well. I did give her a list but I went down from I think like 10 items to two to three items and she forgot one of the items that I told her so she kind of felt bad but it's okay, kind of worked out because when I went to Rite Aid, the blushes, one of the blushes that I wanted to get is actually 50% off. When we go to Nigel's, we get, I think, 40 or 30% off, so it's more than that. Um, and the blushes that I wanted were there. And so these are the two that I got. These are in the, well, the blush is in Milan. And I think this one is, you can use that as a blush or for contour or bronzer. And this one is in skin. I'll probably insert um, how it looks like closer on a closer view. I also got, I really wanted to try this concealer, so I got the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and I got this in the shade, what shade is this? Um, Latte or 375 and I'm excited to try this out because I feel like the the Tarte Shape Tape doesn't work for me anymore so I, I kind of wanted to try something that I haven't really tried before that I've been hearing good things about on from youtubers so I got this one and I wanted to try new things that I haven't tried before that I haven't seen on youtubers as well at least that I've seen or that I that I normally watch but I got this two things from Dollface this is also from Rite Aid um, so I was showing you guys earlier this is like a gel cushion blush and I'm pretty excited to use this one I do love how the color looks like. I hope that it's the same when I apply it on my face. And I also got a, what is this? I hope this is not, oh shoot. I think this is a lip shine. Hmm. I thought it was a velvet um, lip lip paint or lip lipstick, liquid lipstick, but it is a lip shine. So I'm kind of scared and they don't have any and they don't have any samples there for me to try on on the back of my hand so I feel like I was going in blind 
Um, hopefully it works out for me. If not, I'll probably have to return it. It is, this one is $12, I think. Yeah, so this one was $12. This one was also $12. The blushes, they're normally about $19 each, but I got them for 50% off, so it's $19 for both or $9.50 for one. And the infallible was $12.99. So that is it. That's all I got from Rite Aid. And I'm still I'm so I still can't believe that it was a lot. But what's nice about it is that we get rewards and stuff like that. And they did issue me a $10 gift card, Rite Aid gift card, and also it spit out a those coupons. I forgot what you call these now. I used to know what these are called, but I forgot now. It, and another five dollars off. So now technically I got fifteen dollars back. So that's good. I also got something from Amazon. Honestly, I remember this package and I remember this package, but I don't remember what this is. But yeah, so I got something from Amazon and I think these are the glasses that I got because I really wanted blue light um, glasses. My friend um, from work actually got something there and my eyes have been hurting a lot. Um, I do use these but this, uh, this one I guess doesn't have any blue light and I thought I told them to put blue light but I guess they didn't and I didn't realize it. And then I also got... I, I usually use my contacts, but I've been working a lot for the last month, so being in front of the computer is really bad for my eyes. So this is the one that I got. This is um, from this brand called Soho's, Sojo's, Soho's, and they look like this. And hmm. Okay, so it's a pretty cute box and I have a bunch of stuff inside. Okay, just the cleaner and just the glasses. I don't know if this is going to fit my face because I have a big face. Oh no. I really wanted to get something from Key Australia but it was so expensive. Well, not very expensive but it was just more expensive than these. And my friend got a different one and it worked out for her. Hopefully this one works out for me. So guys, I did try them on. It seems like it's fine when I was looking at it in the mirror. And it's just for the office anyways or when I'm at home editing videos. So I think this is going to be okay. Um, but looking at the camera right now, I really cannot see. It's very, very blurry. I can only see basically my hair and my the color of my clothes but I can't see a lot of things okay anyways guys moving on to the next item I'm gonna be opening this one it does say it is for me but I don't know what this is it might be also from Amazon because that's the only thing I buy stuff from what did I get? Oh my gosh, what is this? What? I bought something from Zara? No. Oh, I bought something from Zaful. Oh my god, guys. I totally forgot about this one. This is this is from Zaful. I did buy this one, I think, a few weeks back. And I totally forgot that I did buy this. This is a jacket. This is a nice like um, bag for it. It's pretty cute. It kind of reminded me of Zara at first. But this is how it... Wait. So how does it... How is it supposed to work? Okay. So I guess I have to put this one on. Okay. Let me try it on for you guys. I've never done a try on haul. But I'm going to try to do it on this video. Okay guys, so this is the jacket that I got. It's pretty cute. I've been wanting this for a very long time. So it's just a denim jacket. Kind of like an anorak um, 
think that's how you say it, jacket style. So it's pretty long, you guys can't see it here. And this is how it looks like. The stuff on the back, or that gray, this one, is actually separate from the jacket. So you can use it just a denim jacket without this one. Or you can use it with, and that's how it looks like. It is pretty cute, guys. I like it, so. Okay, guys, so that was the jacket. Um, I really do like it. It actually fits perfectly. I did go over, or I did went by the reviews of the people on there, so I will probably link the jacket on the description box if you guys are interested in getting it. It was pretty inexpensive for the type of jacket that it is. Okay, so the last one is this item right here, and it's just um, a makeup palette. It came by really, really fast. So this is the box, and this is the makeup by Tati. So this is the Tati Beauty makeup palette. It's her very first item or launch or makeup. I'm not making sense anymore. But I just wanted to unbox this, but I'm going to do a review and a different video and probably do another makeup tutorial or something. Um, I haven't done one of those in such a long time, but I just wanted to show you guys my first impression. This is so cute. It reminds me of a honeybee. I love the packaging. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Oh, it feels very heavy. And slides like so. So this is the Tati Beauty Volume 1. Oh my god, guys, this feels so nice. I haven't even opened it. Okay, so it's like that and then it opens up to this. Sorry for my nails, I haven't um, gotten them done. Oh my god, that's so pretty! <sighs> Guys, so it came with a mirror. This was, I don't remember how much this was. It's like $49, I think it was. $41, something like that. And it came with a mirror. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is very pretty. So that's how it looks like. I'm so excited to use this. Ooh, I haven't gotten excited for makeup um, as much as I have been in the last couple of weeks. And this really got me so excited. And I'm so excited to get the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collection. Um, I'm very excited about that. Oh my goodness. So, I'm gonna do another video in regards to this, a review or whatnot. Comment down below, let me know what you guys wanna see, but I just wanted to show you guys that I did get this one. Did you guys get this? Please let me know if you guys got it or not. And were you guys planning to get this or something? Anyways guys, um, that is it. That is it for my haul. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Is there anything at Rite that you guys like? Um, I hope that I like the concealer. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm happy about my jacket and I'm excited about my glasses because I'm saving my eyes a lot of trouble. So that is it guys. I hope you guys like this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you guys on my next video. Bye!